Ellis relocated to Ohio because of his work. It took him away from the musicians he knew, but it allowed him to become more inventive and imaginative with the songs he wrote for banjo and fiddle. And eventually, he would connect to the river country around him through his music. I was transferred up here by a paper company, and, and uh, when I got up here, I didn't know any musicians and had no contact whatsoever with any musical activity. And I, I'd just sit at home in the evening and uh, be, uh, be a dad to my children, you know, and enjoy that. And, and when kids go to bed, I'd be there with my banjo and I'd sit at the table and play the banjo. And I started thinking about what my grandmother had taught me and with George Pegram, you know, and some of these old guys. And, and I started noodling around with these old tunings. And instead of frailing, I'd play the Earl Scruggs finger rolls. And when you change the tuning on a banjo, it changes the whole setting for where the fingers go to get the melody and how you get in and out of that and keep a syncopation going. So it, it opened a big door of opportunity to write new melodies that sounded old. And, and that's what I've been doing for 25, 30 years. Would you like to uh, show us something that, uh, that, dem that utilizes the different tunings that you're talking about? Well, let's see. This was in a C when I did Stan Boy Stan. This is double C. Okay. Because your your uh, second is C, mm -hmm. the bass is C. Two G's mm -hmm. octaves and this one string. It's a D string and you just have to play one note on one string and you've got a full C chord. Mm -hmm. Simple, you know, mm -hmm. keeps it simple. Okay. Um, but I've written some kind of ballad type things, waiting airs, waltzes, lullabies. Uh, let's see, I can play, uh, play a waiting air for you called Hand in Hand. Okay. 